Another little known feature in D7X is the ability to check the RAM information, specifically the number of slots on the motherboard and or the part number for each of your individual RAM sticks. Currently you can access this by going to the internal menu and RAM info, although this may or may not be present in the future. You can always click on the actual num amount of system RAM and the status window at the top. When you get there, you see the little RAM info dialog and it'll tell you total supported slots. Now you can see here I don't have an output. This is just blank and it is sometimes. Uh, it can also be incorrect. This is essentially the number of slots reported to Windows by the BIOS as in what the chipset supports. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the actual number of physical slots on the board. Sometimes the chipset may support four slots while the board has two slots. And a lot of times you'll even see that on some boards that have a space for say two more slots but don't have the slots. Um, additionally, sometimes it's just not displayed. So in this case on my system it's just not displayed that there are four RAM slots. The device locator, capacity, speed, manufacturer, and part number are all, uh, is all of the information gathered about each individual RAM stick. And you can right click and you can do a couple, two options. You can Google the part number, which is also a button, or you can copy that part number to the clipboard. If you just say Google it, you'll come up. Um, we'll look at that in our D7X internal browser, and we already have that part on Amazon. And you see that's the Vengeance Pro series that I've got in here. And um, we also have the option to run Crucial Scan. This will actually run the Crucial, and it popped up over here, Crucial Scanner. This may or may not actually, you know, I don't think this is going to work on my system just because of the browser being used. Let's try a different browser. There we go. And now we have we have the part number and it actually tells you it's compatible with the motherboard that I'm using in this system, the Sabertooth Z87. That's what the Crucial Scanner is good for. Uh, I wanted to point out the Crucial uh, Scanner just because, uh, well not only does it give you um, information about the board that you're using and uh, gives you exact part numbers and you can purchase the RAM. But I also wanted to point out the Crucial Scanner because those folks that are in the UK, there is a setting on the Behavior tab under Regional Settings, use Crucial UK Scanner when clicking on RAM Upgrade Alert. Uh, this also, there is a RAM Upgrade Alert that will appear in our Alerts column and if you click on that it also launches the Crucial Scanner or launches this interface that you can use the Crucial Scanner. So now when you use this Crucial Scanner it would launch the UK version. Folks in Australia, I'm not really sure what to say. I would imagine you would use the UK version but to be honest I'm not certain. I believe the only thing that the UK version does is give you the UK website for Crucial.com. But I did just want to point that out to those folks who are using this functionality and maybe wonder what that setting was in config. Hope that helps.